now you see that here are all students and i will uh, show all the students in this case so these are the students that i have added in my database table now i will show all these students here in the student controller i created an index that is home okay in home page these are actually a static data but i will make this data dynamic so in order to do that i have to pass all the students information into my view file so use student and then get all data that means all student here i take a variable all students equal to student get and this data i will show into that page using compact all students in the home page here the tr will be each time repeated okay this means a row if you see here this one repeats okay so i am going to repeat this and i will put all those into the forest in forest here variable all students as item i am going to cut this and paste here so all students will come here is student name and here is student email and here i will use some actions and this one is serial this one is serial and this one is item name and this is item email and here i will put some actions to edit or delete edit and suppose after that delete here i will use a class btn btn suck btn info for example copy this paste here here danger for example go here refresh and you see that all students that are in this table is showing here name email okay i will work with the actions the serial will be auto increment so i can use two ways here or three ways i am showing every ways first one is you can declare a variable outside the loop php and nphp and there you can declare a variable i equal to zero then when you will be into loop then you can increment this that value okay that mean i plus plus in this way and there here then here you can use the value of i you print it because this time when you will be into the for loop then i will be incremented by one so if you go here refresh this you see that the serial comes on to three this way but there is another easy way to do that i am going to remove it remove it you can call it as key key value pair okay so when you will use the for is loop you can retap the value as the key and value okay so this key the key start with zero if i put here key you see that the items will come zero one to this way automatically come so i will put here key plus one that means it will be started from one so in this way you can do it this is on another way there is another third way that is you can directly call here loop iteration that is used in laravel so refresh automatically this comes and in the delete i am going to use one click for delete return confirm sorry return return after return i will use a function confirm are you sure want to delete this student 
now see when you will click here there will be a message and then when you click ok then this data will be deleted but i hope you have understood how we can show all the data of the database i am going to add another student that is for example david david this one and then submit you see that data is added successfully here it is added and after add it automatically comes here okay in the fourth number refresh it this way you can show all the students